Here's a great and true story about this Chinese bronze antique incense burner. It's called a censer. This thing was dug up in a garden in England around 60 years ago by my client's relatives and it was sold recently in auction and I'm going to show you in actual fact the real auction footage of this thing being sold. But before I show you that and of course reveal how much this found dug up antique actually sold for, by the way, it was sold to a Chinese buyer. So it has now been repatriated back to China. I've got to tell you about the background story and how this thing was discovered. So a few weeks ago, I was doing one of those Facebook Live events. You know the kind of things. I really enjoy them, actually, particularly in lockdown. It gives you a chance to actually communicate with human beings, even though just remotely. Anyway, it's kind of a questions and answers thing. I was talking about antiques, giving advice and valuing antiques when a message came on the screen from this lady, Abigail Pine. There she is, the lovely Abigail. She mentioned on Facebook that she had this Chinese incense burner. Now this sparked an interest with me because I like handling Chinese things, not only because I love them, but because they can be worth extraordinary amounts of money. Then she mentioned it had been found and dug up in a garden. I said, Abigail, for goodness sake, get in touch with me, send me some information. She did. So an email arrived from Abigail with all these lovely pictures of the Chinese incense burner. But what was as interesting as the piece itself was the story. So I, I delved a little deeper and discovered that the relatives of Abigail owned a pub in Northumberland in northern England. And whilst digging in the garden one day, they hit metal, this thing. They spaded this incense burner and dug it out of the ground. And along with it came an English brass church candlestick. Now, if these two things, the sensor and the candlestick, could speak, what a tale they would tell. I mean, why somebody would ever dream of burying a bronze sensor and a candlestick in their back garden, I don't know. I think there's a dodgy but great story there, but sadly, we will never know. But for 60 odd years, this Chinese sensor has been floating around the pine family. Now Abigail wanted to know what on earth to do with it. So I studied the photographs and determined that yes, it is absolutely Chinese. It's not rocket science. It's an incense burner and probably made during the 19th century, but it's missing something. It's missing its lid or cover. It would have piercings in that cover. And this is really quite important and will affect the price of this thing because that was a fundamental part of using an incense burner because, you know, the burning of incense in Chinese cultural practices wasn't the same as you burning incense at home now to give the house a nice smell. No, it had very important religious functions, uh, social functions. It was used in medicinal practices, in prayer and in meditation. And the piercing, the holes in the cover, in the lid that has obviously been lost, was important because the smoke from the incense as it billowed out of the top would be shaped and formed into almost cloud-like images which would float around the room and around the heads of the people in the room during their meditational state. And the cloud formations in the smoke represented the spirits of their long gone dead ancestors. So the lid, as you can understand, is highly important. And this then is going to affect its auction value. Remember, we're going to watch it sell in a moment. Also, another thing that will reflect on its value is this. The Chinese have been making sensors for burning incense for over 3,000 years. So they've made a lot of them. And like all things in the antiques world, originality is everything. So the fact that it doesn't have its lid is going to put a lot of buyers off. But the lid has gone. You've got to get over these things in the business. What Abigail wanted from me was a valuation. And to answer the question, is it worth putting into auction? Well, I knew it was well worth putting into auction, but I spoke to my mate Charles Hansen. 
There he is, look, on the left-hand side, I'm on the right-hand side, and just to show off a little bit, the two girls, that is Banana Rama. Charles and I did a celebrity antiques road trip with Banana Rama. Anyway, Charles and his team have had some really good results in recent times with Chinese pieces and have some really good Chinese buyers. So between us, we all agreed that it was 19th century and should carry an auction estimate being mega sensible of three to four hundred pounds. But as you probably know, Chinese objects can surprise. The trick is putting the right buyers onto these pieces and informing them of the background story. Chinese buyers love real true stories so we can get a grip on the heritage of this piece. Something that was made in China and lost to China many years ago. And as one of my Chinese buyers said to me not very long ago, and by the way, this guy is not a millionaire, he is a billionaire. He said to me, David, we want to buy back our culture. Items that were lost to us, we want to bring them home. And David, he said, we have all the money in the world to do it. Don't you just love that? So anyway, we agreed three to four hundred pounds. Abigail was up for it. Charles Hansen and team put it in, did the work, did the photographs, got in touch with their Chinese buyers. I got in touch with my Chinese buyers. We put it into auction. We sat back and watched events unfold. And now you can also watch the events unfold. Here it is getting sold in auction. Remember, auction estimate, three to four hundred pounds. Here we go. Zero, zero four. This is the Chinese bronze sensor um, decorated with archaic and other symbols for elongated scroll supports. You've all seen it. We've sent plenty of images and condition reports. We have a phone bid on this lot and we can start with a bid from Hanson's Live of £1,900. And I'll take £2,000 from anywhere else. £1,900 is the main bid on Hanson's Live. Is it £2,000 on the server.com? So £1,900 still with Hanson's Live. Is it £2,000 on the server? If not, we can sell to Hanson's Live for the maiden bid of £1,900. You're out on the sale room. We're selling to Hanson's Live for £1,900, now £2,000 bid. Thank you. £2,000 bid. Is it two one? It is £2,100. £2,100 on Hanson's Live. Looking for two two. Looking for £2,200 on Hanson's Live. Current bid is £2,100. Looking for 2002 on Hanson's Live. At £2,100, then, for the first time of asking, at £2,100 for the second time, and for the third and final time, at £2,100, you're out on the sale room. We're selling to Hanson's Live. We're making a memory at £2,100. And it would have been a lot more with a lit. There we go, £2,100. What a lovely result. And this gorgeous Chinese sensor is, as we speak, winging its way back home to China. So listen, remember, everybody, that these items are still out there. They're in your cupboards, they're in your lofts, and yes, they're even in your gardens. Listen, thanks for watching. Until next time, I'm David Harper. Cheerio.